Hello friends, welcome. Now in the previous video we worked with the lazy loading routes. In this video I'm going to install the JSON server and also the Tidyun CSS tower project because I'm going to create some data and work with the dynamic routes in the next video. So first let's, if you go to the npm packages, search for the JSON server, here we have. And now let's install this one just by saying something like this. Let's open the terminal and paste that here. And now we can create a db.json and say json server watch this file. And then if we navigate to the localhost 3000 post slash one, here we get that uh, post. So first also I'm going to install the Tidewind CSS. So let's get started. Framework guides, VJS, using view. And we have the project just around this command. So paste that in. Next, npx Tidewind CSS in it. Okay, and the last one is to add these two lines in the content inside the Tidewind configuration file, which is here inside the content. Paste that in, save, close this. And we need to add in the styles the base components and utilities from Tidewind CSS. So let's copy inside the style CSS, select all and paste that. And we are ready to go. Let's close the terminal. And now uh, in the root of our project, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to name it database. And here I'm going to create a new file, db.json. Here I'm going to create some movies. So I'm just going to paste here to save some time. So here we have an object and we, I added the movies which are an array with objects. Each object is a movie with ID, title, year, runtime and the poster which is coming from the Amazon. Okay, here we have uh, five movies. Now let's save and as I said, uh, if we run now the JSON server, watch that file. So let's go and open the terminal here. And now we need to say inside the database slash db.json. And if we navigate to this URL, so let's just copy this URL and now open the browser. And let's navigate there. We have the an array with our movies. Now, if you like this uh, port here, 3000, okay. If you maybe you have the 3000 for the project, you can change the port. So let's say dash dash port and maybe choose 8,000. And hit enter. And now we have 8,000. So let's see, copy, come here and say 8,000 slash movies. And we have the same thing. Okay, now the idea is when we go So let's open the VS code. So when we go to the views movies here, I want to get all the movies and display here nicely with the uh, Tidewind CSS. So that's it what we are going to do in the next video. So see you there.